Good morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, that's a little better. Okay, got to get our little lives together. Girl, what is up? Happy Saturday. It is 1.37, okay? About what we started yesterday. I always get late starts, but yesterday was fun. My Friday was fun. I got my phone fixed. Apple fixed my phone in just about an hour. Um tree lighting ceremony was super fun me and otis had a good time so today the agenda is to go to apps and a little lunch dinner i got to pick up some things from walmart that i didn't get yesterday because i had some walmart deliveries and then they canceled them but nonetheless i didn't cancel them. walmart themselves canceled my order they said that they had issues getting into the gate but the, I, mm. My gate is suspect where I live, though, so I'm not going to question it too much. I'm just going to go and store myself and pick up my needs. I'm going to get some more of the Baccarat candles. They are sold in store, but you can order them online because that's how I got my first one. I got it in one day delivery, so same day. Oh, was it same day delivery? Nonetheless, um, pretty quick, pretty quick if you order online with Walmart Plus, okay? Um, yeah, so that's all I got on the agenda today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I got my bag packed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my coat on. This is one of my Fashion Nova fits, those black jeans and the cold shoulder sweater. But you're gonna get a full view of my look in just a moment because I'm gonna put the coat on as well. One of the new coats, okay? So I'm gonna show that off, show you the coat. I feel like it's, I feel like it's real cute. Yesterday with my Sherpa jacket, Otis oh, Monster, you out here with a full comforter on. Girl, that took me out. It was so funny. But I was warm, though, while his ass was shivering in the damn hoodie. But nonetheless, let me go ahead and get dressed so we can get out of here. Okay, so here is the Fashion Nova look that I showed you in the previous vlog. The black jeans, the high-waisted black jeans, okay? The Alana cold shoulder sweater. <sighs> Going for a nice black on black on black look. I just think it is super cute. Easy, chic. But yeah, this is the look and some ankle booties. Okay, now I'm going to grab the coat and my bag. All right, so I am filling my look, going with my Fendi peekaboo bag. Now, this jacket does have pockets. So cool. I love a jacket with pockets. Now, I wish I could find my cowl neck um, scarf. Now, that would be real cute with this to zhuzh up this blazer-like jacket. Oh, I just love it. Love, love it. Girl, definitely one to pick up if you're looking to expand your winter coat collection, girl. I love a good coat. I love a good blazer. This is just giving everything. Love, love, love. Now, again, y'all know I'm not sponsored by Fashion Nova. I'm just a big fan of the clothes. All right, I'm gonna step into the light so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. So in natural light, this is what it looks like. But to me, when I look down at it, it just appears to be a bit darker, a darker of a gray. It's more like a heather gray, but I like it, very nice. All right, I'm about to get some gas real quick. I hate getting gas. I really do. Yoshi. Yoshi. All right, that was easy. That was easy. All right, let's go. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm pulling up to my favorite. 
favorite beauty supply store. I love this one. They have everything. When I say everything, girl, I mean everything. This is the Hair Queen on University Drive. All right, so we're gonna go in here to get stuff for a ponytail. I haven't worn my hair in a ponytail in a minute, so I'm kind of missing a ponytail. But I don't know if I want a long straight one or one with like body wave. Dropstring ponytails are kind of cheap, so we'll probably pick up one of each and a pack of braiding hair to do the pre-wrap. Yeah, I want a ponytail for this week, so that's what we're gonna go to do. I got plenty of edge control, I got gel, so that's all we need is the ponytail and the pre-wrap. So let's go get it. Okay, so they have the scarf that comes with the baby hairs attached to it. Oh, okay, interesting. Definitely interesting. All right, but I need a comb and a ponytail. All right, here are the combs. All right, so hopefully I can keep up with these two. All right, the Kara is kind of cute. So we're gonna grab her at number two. I've reviewed the Mimi right here on my channel before. Make sure you check that one out. But Yaya over there is looking real cute too. And I've done the Ocean Wave, but I don't think I've had the 30. We're gonna go with this one as well. It's still my birthday month. We still celebrate. Then I always grab a pack of braid and hair for my um pre-wrap. And it doesn't have to be a big pack. So we're only using this for ponytails. The El Chico hair is good enough. No, you need to go for I don't. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're looking for this in the number two. Now, I've had the Spectrum brand before. We need a color number two. I'm going to pick up a scarf, too, to wrap my ponytail with. I wish there was, like, a taupey one to match my pajamas. On the highway, we're 30,000 feet in the sky. Whatever. Whatever. Let's start. All right, we got packages. Let's see what we got. All right, so this is my burger order. I can't wait to see what this is. I think this is going to be my new glam ipad covering but we'll see because so i did get oh wait another piece from burger omgg okay so i'm really ready to get into these because i got a couple of things from them i wanted to glam up my phone as well as my ipad but girl let's go ahead and get into it OMGG. Now everything will be linked down below. Ooh. Look at this Luxy Lux dust bag with the branding on it. Okay, super cute. OMGG. Girl, it's the dust bag for me. It's like a microfiber type material. Oh, beautiful. So pretty. 
I got a crocodile print. Look at this. I wanted something sleek and black. Ugh, so luxy lux. I'm gonna have to show you this in better lighting in just a second, but this is so gorgeous. O-M-G-G. Love, love, love. Let's see what else we got. This deserves its own dedicated video, so that'll be coming as well. All of my iPad accessories. I'm just gonna rip it open, rip it open. What is this? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I did get the matching cover for my MacBook. So this is what it looks like. Super glam. So you get the bottom piece as well as the top piece. And it matches my iPad, so everything will be kind of cohesive. But yeah, I'm gonna show you all of my stuff in better lighting, and I think this is the phone case. Girl, even it came in this little luxy bag. O-M-G-G. -G. Look at that. Beautiful. But nonetheless, I'm gonna have pictures of my things on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram as well. But girl, these are so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put my iPad and my phone in the case. I think this next item is from Amazon. I ordered a new watch band for my Fitbit Lux. I bought the Fitbit Lux on July 4th and I haven't worn it because I didn't like the band that came on it. Y'all know I got it for a steal at Unclaimed Baggage and I have just been on the hunt online for the perfect band. I could have just bought any type of band just to be using it but that's how I end up with so much unwanted stuff. I just buy things just for the sake of having it then, you know, right then. And then I end up not liking it. So I'm training myself not to do that. Get something that I'm just, I know that I'm going to really enjoy, really like. And then, then that's just it. I'm not going to buy a whole bunch of shit just to be buying it. Oh, wait, no, this is, dang. So it's not my watch band. This is an um, electric lighter. A candle lighter. Let's see if it has any charge. Yeah, this is what it looks like. This looks like a taser. Nice, cute little candle lighter. All this stuff will be linked down below should you be interested. It comes with the charging cable. But yeah, this is like my third one of these. We misplaced mine my birthday weekend when we were celebrating. But yeah, pink one. So we replaced the pink one I had. So this is now trash. Oh, okay. I know what this is. Oh, here, this is my watch band. Sometimes, oh, and my flambe torch. Yo, know, sometimes Amazon said that this stuff was not scheduled to come until Monday. So I wasn't looking for any of my orders. So this is a, um, a round tabletop fire pit. I'll show you this probably later this week. It's so cute. I cannot wait to show that. And that's one of those Amazon. It was an Amazon Prime deal or what you call it? Limited time Amazon deal. You know how they be having stuff sporadically on sale. On sale for like a day and then it goes off. Then it's back to regular price. And then a couple of days later, it's back on sale. You know how Amazon does. But I needed a torch. What's this on? I know he ain't sent me no used one. So I will send it back. It's so cool freezing to touch so cold 
I want to just got a little. Well, I probably got to fill it. I don't know if it's ready to go, but. I guess it's not. I don't know. But I got a torch. They was using one of these in, um, what's that restaurant I went to and I loved in Dallas? The bartender was roasting her marsh her marshmallow decor for the martinis, the espresso martinis with this. I was like, oh, I need one of those. I need that. So, yeah, I ordered one. So, you guys will be seeing me use those for, like, holiday setups. I don't know if you like the holes for the holidays, but I'm gonna show you some cute stuff you can do if you are a hostess, the hostess with the mostess. But this is definitely, most definitely the watch band. Now I love this Fitbit that I wear all the time, but like I said, I bought myself a Fitbit Lux this summer. The Fitbit Lux looks almost just like this, but it has a gold um, frame around it. And the display is in color, whereas this is just um, black and white. But I love this one. I'm still going to wear this one. It's like my everyday one. And my Fitbit Lux will be, you know, for more special occasions. Now, I love my Apple Watch. It's just that Fitbit, I can charge this up once a week. And that thing will go for at least a week and a half before it needs to be charged again. I love that for me. Fitbit is just the bomb for me. My Apple Watch is cool too, though. I do love it. I was wishing I had my Apple Watch when I was away in class last week. Because you know, you can't really have your phone out. And it would have been a great way for me to respond to text messages. So, note to self, keep my Apple Watch charged up and take it with me when I'm going to classes so I can better respond. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to get my Fitbit Lux and put this on it. I got kind of like a cowboy style chain. I don't know why they're called cowboy, but it's very pretty. I'll show you how it looks just in case I got some Fitbit girls in the house. Super cute. All right, so next what I'm going to do is get started. Probably my hair. I'm going to find me something to watch. And then we're going to do my all right, guys, so I just installed Kara, the ponytail I just got from the beauty supply store. I absolutely love it. She is too cute. And I filmed the how-to video. So we'll be on the lookout for that. That'll be up really soon. This ponytail is so cute. Look at it. Ooh, ooh. I love the wave. It's called Kara. And I got it for like, what What was that? Like $12.99, $14.99, something to the effect. She is super cute. Yes. Yes. I love it. Let me know what you think. I'm feeling it. I'll probably do a ponytail for the rest of the year. That's what I'm thinking. It's cute. I like it. Right, so I'm ending the day with Otis at the Waffle House, y'all. He always does the most. He has a sandwich, bacon, and an all store. Otis don't like his bacon. Oh, I don't. Is it too crispy? Bro, I can't even eat it. It's <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel happy friday it is early for me i'm up in the 11 o'clock hour i really I'm, I'm really shocked at myself i'm up right now cleaning up getting ready for a christmas decor i gotta go to my storage unit and get my ornaments for my christmas tree the ornaments for my um tv stand and you know that type of thing today i'm going to work out okay i'm going to start back my 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 fitness journey i need to lose 15 to 20 pounds i can stand to lose 30 but i'll settle for for 15. that's that's the plan so we're going to work it out still going to eat good today but i just don't know what i want to eat today but like i said i'm watching my weights so we're going to see how today goes but right now like i said i'm just cleaning up and getting ready to start 
my Christmas decor. Now a lot of this stuff over here in the corner piled up. It goes back over into my purse room. And some of it I got to consider taking it to storage because it's just getting all types of out of hand. All right, guys, so then I got this new bouquet. Colorful flowers. Dominic sent me these. So I'm going to get these put in a nice vase. Some ice and water. Aren't they pretty? The salad is so good, so good. So I'm about to get dressed to go to the gym. All right, I'm gonna start with my Rockstar pre-workout. This is normally what I do when I'm on my gym kick. I always have some type of a pre-workout. But this one lately, this is my second one of these. I actually like this one. It's pretty tasty. It really tastes like fruit punch. I can stomach it. But I can't do what some of the girls do though. I can't just scoop this into my mouth. Ugh, no, 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 I can't do it. So I like to add it to my water. Now this is my glow bottle. You've seen this before here on my channel because I've showed it to you in like one of those shorts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my bottle working. Sit this in a refrigerator because I like my water cold. Even with my pre-workout, I just like it cold. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna get dressed and I'll be back.
Oopsie. But this one and C4 are my favorites, but they both taste really, really good. I do like this one. But pre-workout absorbs and dissolves a little better when the water is room temperature. So um, once again, because I used like super cold water, it clumps up at the bottom, but I'm just going to have to deal with that. I'll end up um, getting it all out because I'll end up drinking all of this before and right probably into my workout so it'll still be effective trust me i do this a lot so here we go here is today's workout outfit it is from cup sheet y'all know i fancy cup sheet i love their swimsuits but this would be my first time trying their workout wear so cute i love the ribbing on the set and it has this cute lace up the tail here in the front of the pants and then we have a cropped racer back top i'm going to go ahead and put it on as this is the look for today yes. okay so here is the cup she workout outfit i'm wearing it in a size large she's cute okay feeling it she's cute just gotta find me a cute sneaker all right oh super cute love the detail here in the front yeah so cup she has cute workout clothes as well as swimwear vacation wear i do have a full-on haul coming up so be sure to check that out okay so that means you got to be subscribed girl your notifications got to be turned on so make sure you hit that notification bell okay Super cute. Let me go ahead and put my sneakers on. Yoshi. 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 Y'all, I'm not going to wear this out like this. It is way too cold. It's in the 40s. I'm going to put on a sweatshirt. On top of this, now, should I come out of it in the gym? That's a whole different story, but I'm not going to come out the house just like this. But I am in love with the set. I think it is super cute, though. Okay, cup she. Super nice. Chug the pre-workout. I don't really like drinking water, but the fruit punch, the fruit punch flavor really does make it taste better.
happy Saturday, guys. Good morning. Good morning. It is 1034. This is just like a record for me. This is the second day in a row that I've gotten up before at 3 p.m. I'm shocked and amazed. Uh, hopefully, I can keep this up. But nonetheless, y'all. Um, by now, I feel like most of you have seen all of the horrific videos and heard of the, you know, the very tragic death that Shanquilla Robinson died. That was just horrible. And I regret having watched the video where the girl just repeatedly beat her while she was naked. Like that to me was just the worst. And it left me feeling all types of ways, just just horrible. But I'm not going to talk deeply into that, but it was definitely, definitely tragic and unfortunate. And like I said, I just keep replaying the video. I just hate that I watched it. I really hate looking at stuff like that because it always leaves me feeling some type of way and I cannot stand that. And then having watched her mom and her dad speak, oh, it's just horrible. And you just wonder how they're feeling during the during the holiday seasons. And I know it's going to be rough. I know it's hard currently right now. It's just like the worst. When you just try to imagine something like that happening to your your family, your mom, your sister, your dad, your brother. It's just horrible. It's just, it's just horrible. But I just want to touch on how people will you know, like keep referring to these people as her friends and all of this stuff. Well, obviously, they weren't her friends if they could just plan out and then implement such horrible things on her. Like, let this lady fund the entire trip. That means she paid for the entire trip for these people to go on, only to get her over there and, and, and do her like that. That's just horrible. These are just horrible people to do such horrible. It's like they have probably have been plotting on this girl for for months and months probably longer than that because that's usually how deeply rooted the hate is when people can actually go through with something like that girl they've been hating you for long before you can even imagine these folks hate you that's just what it is some people are just are just haters like that they are just haters it's just in them to hate but then it, then i go back to this always hearing from my folks you don't know those folks you don't know those people. You don't. But you know, I don't just plan trips with 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 friends or whoever. I don't do that. My circle has always been real short, and it's not because I don't know these people. It's just that I don't trust. I have a I I have trust issues on my own as it pertains to inviting people in and doing the most with people. I just don't trust you. Um, and I have a select few that I do trust, and um, and I don't and I don't really think they'd ever do anything seriously. Um, to hurt me, I don't think. I would hope. I pray that they don't. But as far as going on a group trip or trusting people in that way, much less ever funding anything for them, I I could never. I don't. I don't think I like anybody enough like that, other than my family, to buy you anything other than a burger, a, a, a cold drink. Other than I'm sure they're not gonna spend that kind of money on them. Just not gonna do it. Cause I don't think nobody ever out there would do that for me. Um. And it ain't even about going tit for tat with a person. I just wouldn't do it, period. I'm not spending that kind of money on anybody as, as it pertains to being a so-called friend. Like, but I say all this to say, uh, you don't, when people say, you don't know those people, you don't, but do you know anybody? I just feel like we really don't know anybody. Yeah, you will think you know what you know, but even then, you don't even know them. Like, you don't know them. You'll never really fully know people. And as it pertains to, like, going to work, you know, recently, there was this Walmart mass shooting. A manager went on a, a rampage and, and shot uh, her co-workers and, and patrons in the store. It's like, we go to work every day and stand closely and work closely with people we don't know. You think you know them just because you smile and... And um, Cindy Lou's face, and she might, you know, bring you a snack or two that she might have baked at home or something like that. They might, you know, give you little trinkets and things. You still don't know them. They might seem nice and genuine, you know, at first. And while you're at work, you still don't know them. You might feel like you can trust and confide in them, but you don't know them. 
You don't know them. You know what you think you know. And you know what you see from them when you're at work. You know their representative. You know what they represent when they're at work. That's all you know. But you don't know that person. You don't know them. And I just say that to say that you just really shouldn't <laughs> be so trusting of people. And I know we have to go to work because we got to pay these bills. I know I got to go to work. I got to pay these bills. But I know that in my head, I, I will keep it always right there in the front. And I don't know. I don't know Cindy Lou. I don't know uh, Letitia. I don't, I don't know. Let's use Otis. I don't, I know that I don't really know Otis. Otis could turn on me and kill me if he wanted to, um, you know, but I'm going to hope and pray that that doesn't, that doesn't be the case, but we don't know each other. Let's, let's just say that we don't really know each other. If that makes sense, you know, you just never know people, no matter how much time and stuff you've spent with them. I still feel like you just would never really know them. You don't know their intent. You don't know why they did. Who sent, who sent you? Why are you here? You don't, you just never know. But I just think that we should just limit how we deal with certain people. I don't think we should probably be going out on trips with them. Probably not even going on dinners. And if you do go to a dinner with them, drive in separate cars. Because you just never know. You just never know. And that was just a horrible situation that Shanquilla faced. It was just horrible. And I just sat after watching some of the videos and the reaction videos, just trying to put myself in that situation. It's like, what would I have done? You don't know what you would have done, you know, because you would have to be put in that situation uh, to genuinely know and see how it is that you're going to be fit, how you're going to be feeling. You, you just never know. But I just think that was just so horrible. And I don't recommend or suggest anybody watching the video, but Watching the video does give you a little insight as to how horrific her last, you know, hour or so on earth was. It was it was just horrible to say the least. Horrible. I don't know, but we just have to be careful in which in how we allow people into our circles, into our lives, and what we do with them. Because a lot of things that happen to us, the good things in life, that, that that you just can't share it with them. A lot of people can't handle your successes. They can't even handle your... It, and your successes probably... It doesn't even have to be monetary. Just if you're happy. They can't they can't stand you being happy. They just like to see you, you miserable. So a lot of stuff, maybe just try keeping it to yourself. Just don't share it. You just can't share it with them. And then that'll keep on, keep down a whole lot of confusion too. So just keep them wondering and keep them guessing. But even sometimes that burns biscuits with them. And now they're going to keep prying and try to come into your life and, and doing the most. But I think that you just can't. Sometimes you just can't avoid crazy. You just can't. Crazy will get to you sometimes. Whether you want it to or not. I, I don't understand that too. But I just say all of this to say that just... Just watch who you let in your circle. I got to refresh my hair today. I need to wash it. It's so bad. All this gel. But girl, just watch who you keep in your circle. Just try not to go out on trips and things like that with them. Because I know I, I definitely don't plan on going on a trip with those kind of people. And that many of other people. And then, then I got to fund it. No, that, that's sketchy right there too. Fund your own way. And if you can't find your own way, you don't need to be there. This is just one of those experiences you just you just shouldn't be indulging in. If you can't pay your way or get yourself there, that means it ain't meant for you. That means you ain't meant to be there. Especially if you're waiting on me to find it. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. I'll probably get up a little later. I'm going to rest a little more, catch up on sisters, watch some TV. And then uh, I did go to storage and get my Christmas decor out of storage. So I'm probably going to do that. I did clean up my apartment yesterday. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into all of that stuff. And I got some cute Amazon finds I have to share with you. So I'm going to be showing you all of that for your holiday uh, festivities in the house with your family. And I use the word friend loosely. 
So if you're going to be having holiday soirees at the house, just pick people that you just truly, truly know and trust. Well, when I say no, I shouldn't even say no because, girl, you don't know these folks. You feel like you, you know enough to trust them to come into your house. How about that? Just pick a few. Just a few, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you some cute entertainment ideas and, and gadgets to help you out through your holiday seasons. But, girl, I'm going to let you go here. I'll be starting another vlog later, but hopefully I can get this one up for you today on this Saturday. But, yeah. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Until next time, I will see you in my next video. And there will definitely be another video. Bye. Be smart and be safe.